After more than two decades of development and construction, the James Webb Space Telescope is finally ready to explore the universe. NASA, along with its partners, plans to launch it on December 18, 2021. Ladies and gentlemen, we have been waiting for this moment for many, many years, and it has finally come. But when will we see the first pictures obtained by this space observatory? And what will Webb's first targets be? Will we see distant galaxies or potentially habitable exoplanets in other systems? Carry on watching this video to find out the answer and many other fascinating things about this telescope. Will be very interesting. Just a quick reminder of why this telescope is such a big deal. In the 1990s, scientists were thinking about a potential successor of the well-known Hubble Space Telescope. Hubble has enormously popularized space and received thousands of images of our universe. But eventually, it is going to decay in the atmosphere of our planet. As a result, in 1996, NASA and its partners commenced developing the Next Generation Space Telescope, which was later renamed to the James Webb Space Telescope. The primary meter of the telescope is 6.5 meters in diameter, that is considerably larger than Hubble's 2.4 meters. What is more, it also has infrared instruments with greatly improved sensitivity than Hubble's. Thanks to these new fancy features, Webb will be able to see way more distant objects, namely the first galaxies that formed in the early universe just 250 million years after the Big Bang. Sounds cool, doesn't it? Of course, the cost of the James Webb telescope was expected to be only half a billion dollars, and it was expected to be even larger and launched in 2007, but who cares now? In just three months, this gigantic telescope is going to start its exciting mission. And here's what it will look like. First of all, it will be launched using a European Ariane 5 rocket from French Guiana, located right here in South America. Ariane 5 has proved to be one of the safest space vehicles, with a 95 and a half success rate, so hopefully the telescope will not explode during the flight. Next, many correction maneuvers will take place, along with the deployment of sun shields. In contrast with Hubble, Webb will not be orbiting our planet. Instead, it will travel to a particular location called the Sun-Earth L2 Lagrange point, 930,000 miles from our planet, which it will reach by the end of the third month of the mission. Before the telescope will capture its first science target, it will take a picture of a bright star or a star field to focus the telescope. It will happen after the 33rd day of the mission, namely in January 2022. However, the picture will be out of focus and it will take up to 90 days to align the primary mirror segments. Therefore, it won't be a picturesque image, but it will be the first image from a space telescope that every space nerd has been waiting for. For instance, here is the first photo that was taken by the Hubble Space Telescope to test the optics. It is not that great, but we should remember that it was taken to make sure that all systems worked properly. In the end, Hubble started taking way more beautiful images that still fascinate millions of people around the world. As it's written on the official website, by the end of the third month of the Webb's mission, astronomers will be able to take the first science quality images. Yeah, in order to see its beautiful pictures that will revolutionize the way we see our universe, we will have to wait at least till the middle of March 2022. Eventually, six months after the launch, Webb will begin its full-fledged science mission and start to take thousands of images. And here's the final question. What will Webb's first targets be? Currently, no one knows for sure since astronomers have not chosen the first object yet, but there are several <coughs> but there are several possible candidates. Among them are the earliest galaxies in the universe, 
dozens of different exoplanets such as those in a well-known TRAPPIST-1 system and 59 objects beyond the orbit of our Neptune. Some scientists even expected to observe future interstellar objects passing through our solar system like Oumuamua in 2017. No matter what the James Webb Space Telescope will see, there is no doubt that the next decade will not be boring at all. If you want to know more about this magnificent telescope, I have left several useful links in the description where you can find more information about it. And as always, thanks for watching very interesting videos, bye!